The ocean has been home to extreme and extraordinary species of fish for nearly a billion years, each one evolving their own set of unique adaptations to survive and thrive in the waters of the world. Over these many millennia, one fish had evolved to survive and thrive above all others, growing into a true sea monster that terrorized the Cretaceous waterways. A fish whose mouth was as big as its bottomless stomach, bearing a gluttony beyond bounds. This fish was simply referred to as Zephactinus. Zephactinus was a voracious predatory fish from the Cretaceous period that lived from the earliest eaves of the period 112 million years ago, to its twilight at the end of the Age of Dinosaurs, 66 million years ago. This fish was discovered in what is now Kansas in the 1850s. However, it's likely that this fish was found long before, with possible specimens being discovered around 1822. Nevertheless, this fish has become a staple of the fossil beds of Kansas, so far as to become the state fossil for its massive significance. What is now Kansas was once part of a shallow sea that split North America in half, called the Western Interior Sea, filled with a vast variety of aquatic terrors, such as giant fish, sharks, and diverse variety of terrifying ocean reptiles, a menagerie that has earned the Western Interior Seaway the nickname Hell's Aquarium. And of course, prowling these waters was Savactinus cruising through the shallow seaways in an endless search for food, with remains being found not only in North America, but all over the world on nearly every continent. With this wide range comes numerous specimens, delivering quite the image of what this fish was like, giving us a glimpse into the life of a long extinct animal that scientists so rarely get to see in such detail. This fish was a massive leviathan, measuring up to 16.7 feet, one of the largest predatory fish ever to have lived, and one of the largest fish ever discovered overall. Resembling a giant fang tarpon, Zephactinus was a far more terrifying creature, with large conical teeth riddling a short, deep jaw. A face that has earned the Zephactinus the name, the Bulldog Fish. With these massive jaws, Zephactinus would ensnare prey unlucky enough to be caught in its vicious maw becoming trapped in its bear trap-like jaws and using its enlarged sharp teeth to hold struggling prey in place, ensuring that there was little escape as the fish used these formidable weapons to push the prey down its throat, whole. And with its massive size came an even larger appetite. Zephactinus was a voracious carnivore, feeding on nearly everything that moved, from medium-sized fish to other great sea monsters like the dreaded mosasaurs, with a flipper of one of these sea lizards having been found between the teeth of this bulldog fish. However, the most well-known victim of Zephactinus comes from an extraordinary discovery made in 1926 by the legendary George F. Sternberg. This discovery was a complete 13-foot specimen with its last meal in its stomach, a smaller, related fish called Gillicus. And based on the condition of the specimen, as well as the sheer size of the gillicus in the predator's stomach, it would seem that both animals would become a victim of Zephactinus's gluttony, with the gillicus being so large that its sheer size ruptured the insides of the Zephactinus, killing the monstrous fish as it swallowed its meal. Once the two fish died, they would sink to the bottom of the sea floor, and would become preserved for millions of years to come. It's thanks to fantastic finds like these, that have given us great insight into the lives of these animals, as well as establishing its reputation as a vicious glutton, with several of its depictions in modern media making reference to the famous fish inside a fish fossil. However, the vast collections of Zephactinus reveal more about this fish than just a voracious appetite, with dozens of specimens, many of which being complete or in good condition, have revealed other aspects of this fascinating fish. Despite its size, Zephactinus is thought to have been incredibly fast, based on its torpedo-shaped body and its similarities to the modern tarpon, one of the fastest fish alive today. A case of similarity likely due to convergent evolution, or the evolution of similar traits in unrelated organisms. These anatomical adaptations would have allowed the animal to swim in great bursts of speed, meaning that this fish wasn't just a great eater, but potentially an active pursuit predator, 
It's even possible that Sephactinus could have leapt out of the water to snatch a pterosaur out of the air. Such an ability to travel great distances is likely a factor that allowed them to become so successful across the world, along with its generalized diet, making it one of the most successful animals of the time. And Zephactinus occupied Earth's oceans for a great amount of time. Numerous specimens revealed that this genus of fish was around for a long, long time, with different specimens dating as far back as 112 million years ago, and living up to 66 million years ago. And with their widespread numbers, this indicates something even more incredible. These fish weren't just surviving throughout the Cretaceous, they were positively thriving until a comet collided with the Earth 66 million years ago. Fast, powerful, and relentless like the tide, Zephactinus nevertheless continues to be an icon of a shallow sea now lost to time, and a voracious example of the success of fish.